And I was right underneath it. Lovely. Hello ship junkies, ship watchers and anyone who's just a big fan of ships in general on the Great Lakes. Today I'm out in Port Coburn, it's October, the weather's just fine enough for me to get back out on the water. It's getting cool, it's not as warm as it was. Anyway, we've got a boat coming in very, very shortly. It's FedNav's uh, Federal Shimanto, which is coming in from Sault Ste. Marie and she's making her way all the way over to Antwerp, which is uh, Belgium? Belgium. Please be right. <laughs> I'll check that. <laughs> if this is not in the video, then the, the, um, I'm, I'm doing another take. So anyway, I'm going to head out onto the water. It's probably a little rough still from yesterday. We had some rough weather. But I'll head out there, uh, at least into the entrance, and uh, we'll get a nice uh, shot of this fantastic vessel making its way to Port Coburn. I ventured out about maybe two kilometers away from the shoreline and uh, to get a closer look at the fed nav as it actually makes its way into port coburn as you can tell by the water it's actually quite calm it is actually very nice to be out there so anyway here's the federal shimanto she's one of the many vessels that fed nav has in its fleet there are approximately 120 vessels which include a mix of owned and long-term chartered their fleet features a variety of vessels uh, which include uh, the st lawrence seaway max size bulk carriers supermax and panamax vessels the Federal Shimanto was built in 2001 by the Shin Kurushima Toyashi uh, Shipbuilding in Toyashi, uh, Japan. The Federal Shimanto is actually a handy sized bulk carrier. The Federal Shimanto is 190 meters in length, which is 623 feet and 3 inches, and she has a beam of 23 meters, which is 75 feet and 4 inches. And her gross overall tonnage is 19,167 tons. Okay, the Federal Shamanto is now on its way into Port Coburn. Uh, the pilot's now in charge of bringing it in here. Um, it is on its way to Antwerp, and Antwerp is in Belgium, I was correct. I, I kind of second-guessed myself for some reason. I always knew Antwerp was in Belgium, but as I said it, I was like, 
is it Belgium? Anyway, it is. It's going to Belgium. So anyway, the lift bridge, uh, the Climate Street bridge should be going up any moment now. Uh, probably about another two or three minutes. Probably once, probably once, once it gets to where I am, uh, the alarm will probably go off and the bridge will go up. Uh, but she's slowly making her way in. Shimanto inbound Port Colburn Pier. Shimanto inbound Port Colburn. It's that great skyline. Beautiful skyline for this. All right, there go the bells. Uh, just waiting for the last stragglers to get across the bridge. The alarm will go off and then the bridge will go up and the vessel will come through. Just waiting. She's just starting to appear now. So uh, here we go. Very much backlit at the moment. The sun is directly behind her. So once she gets a bit closer, we'll get a better view of it. So uh, give it another two minutes. A bit of a wait from the uh, pilot boat. Just gonna right over this. She's loud, super loud. right underneath it lovely
some of you are probably wondering what all the spraying of water is all about. Well, basically, this is to cool the hatches and reduce the temperatures inside the cargo holds. Uh, this is particularly important when carrying temperature-sensitive cargo, like coal. Uh, additionally, it can also maintain the integrity of the hatch seals by keeping them from drying out and also prevents dust accumulation and stuff like that and also keeping the surfaces clean. So that's one of the main reasons why they sprinkle water over the, uh, the, the, the deck and the hatches uh, on, on sunny days more than anything. This has been an absolute fantastic capture in the end. Did I actually plan on being this close? Uh oh, my drone's there. Uh, not my drone, my GoPro is right on the wall. Oh my God, I might lose my GoPro. <laughs> Oh no, I should be good. That, my friends, is very good manoeuvring. Look at that. Very good capture in the end, I kind of like that one. Uh, yeah, I was in a good position, the lighting was good, everything about it was good today, I like that. So anyway, there you have Federal Shimanto, just making a pit stop here before continuing down the Welland Canal, making up the way up the uh, Lake Ontario, St. Lawrence Seaway, out onto the Atlantic, and then over to Antwerp, Belgium. Um, not sure what she's carrying, I have no idea. I do know a few of the vessels right now are carrying soybean, because uh, it's that time of year. Um, so I have no idea. 
She could be carrying that. I don't know. I don't know where to find that information out. So if you know what she's carrying, put it in the comments below. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, see you all very soon. Stay safe. See you soon.